That's my fault. Dink. <laughs> dink, dink. Dink, 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 dink. This is my phone now. No, you can't take my phone and do whatever you want with it. A little bit. No. Well, here's the thing about this. Okay, there's two sides of the table, and it was on my side of the table. No. So, by law, no. it is not my phone. There's one side of the table. It's a circle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can't argue with that. Math. Infallible. <laughs> Welcome everyone back to the Jenna Julian Podcast. Hello, how are you? Hello. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. 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 Are we going to say anything besides hello this episode? Hello. Well, d- for those of you that don't know how that started, it started on our stream because I was just trying to annoy Julian. So I trying. Kept, I kept popping into the frame while he was playing and just going, hello, hello. And then all the chat started going, hello. And then the other night on Twitter, someone said hello to me. They tweeted at me. So then it started an incredible hello chain on Twitter. Now so. it's just a whole thing where we all say hello. 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 Nature Box is sponsoring the podcast. <laughs> and right now you guys can get 50% off your first order when going to naturebox.com slash Jenna Julian. <laughs> that was not a segment. They have amazing snacks, over 100 different snacks, guys, always rotating in new ones, gluten-free and vegan options. Dried mango, amazing snack. Okay. Uh, strawberry lemonade, fruit stars, amazing snack. Julie's okay. favorite. 50% off your first order right now. Guys, feel good about snacking. Go to naturebox.com slash Jenna Julian for high quality, simple ingredients in your snacks that are good for you. Thank you, Nature Box. Thank you, Nature Box. Oh, boy. Hello. Hello. We're Hi. trying out. Oh, Hello. Wow. Okay. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Have you had it with me already? No, no, no. I'm honestly, I don't even care. That's funny to me. I'm like, I'm so sleepy today. It's Sunday, and like, I don't. You ever know? Like, we didn't even do anything crazy last night. Like, I'm just so tired. Yeah. For, For no, no reason. reason. Hello. Well, there's one thing. Um, today we didn't have caffeine. Yeah, true. And I think it happens on the weekends more often, where we just like forget to caffeinate, and yeah. then we're just not acting like our normal selves. I don't know if you guys have that. I'm tired. But we've just been. Kind of having a chill day. We were uh, watching some Twitch. Jay Cyrus is doing some funny things on Twitch. I helped my niece get dressed over FaceTime and pick out her outfits for the week. Yeah, that was that was really cute. Okay, my sister-in-law is a genius, though, because she was like, it was taking an hour every morning for her to pick out her clothes. So she bought like a Tupperware drawer thing, you know, like the, the ones you get at like Target where it's like plastic and... Container. Yeah, but it has drawers. And so she labeled them Monday through Friday. And on the weekends, she has her go and pick out what outfits she she wants. So she pulls them out of her closet, folds them, and puts them in the Tupperware drawers so that she has her outfits all picked out so it doesn't take an hour in the morning. That actually is pretty fucking adorable. Right? Yeah. You're giving your your child autonomy to pick out their own clothes, but in a way that does not make you furious in the morning. Yeah. (laughs) Brilliant. That's smart. Right? I like that. I like that. Were you allowed to pick out your clothes when you were a kid? How you wore ro- roller skates and like a Batman outfit. Oh, you know what? Year. Yeah, the answer is yes. I was I was allowed to wear whatever I wanted. I did. I wore roller skates for like a whole year. I was allowed to wear what I wanted too. But like my niece, my mom also made us outfits. She would yeah. like you know stitch us stuff. Together. All of our Halloween costumes were always homemade and stuff. Yeah. But my mom would let us pick out uh, clothes, but I stopped wearing dresses when I was like two. Like I didn't like it. I didn't want to wear them. I would only ever wear like shorts and overalls and like hand-me-downs for my brother. But my niece like really likes dresses. She is a cutie. It's pretty cute. Yeah. Not me. What do you mean, not you? I tr- it translated into me as an adult though. Like I don't, I don't fuck with dresses. You look good in a dress though. I don't... You don't wear them. I don't want to. But you look good in them. The only kind of dresses I really like are, like, long maxi dresses where you basically, like, you have a nightgown on, but it's shaped like something that society says is okay. It's a day nightgown. What makes it a nightgown? Just, like, how big it is? Just how long it is and, like, flowy and you don't wear anything but your underwear underneath it. All right. It's fun. I can get down with that. Especially if it's hot and you're like, wow, I've got breeze coming from all directions. All directions. All directions. Not just one direction. Oh! What? You don't know you're beautiful. (laughs) Oh! Guys, I apologize already. Leave. 
for for me and you. I apologize for. I'm, I'm disappointed in you. You know. All right, what are we doing, Julie? Uh, for a number of weeks now, in the comments, there has been suggestions for you us to play. You guys suggested this. Yeah, you guys have suggested us to play a game called Snake Oil. It cures what ails ya. Uh, it's a party game. You need more people to play, but we're not going to do that, you, right? Yeah, you generally need like at least three. But you know what? We don't listen to rules here at the Jen Julian Podcast. Okay, we laugh at rules. Then we step on the rules. Do we? And then we throw the rules in the trash. Then we, we go get them because we forgot what they are. <laughs> uh, basically, the game is about making sales pitches to each other. Um, I think people want to see us play <clears> this because <throat> they want to hear you make up bullshit. Maybe. Maybe, possibly. You're pretty good at making up bullshit. Um, so the, the way the game works is one of us is going to be the customer and one of us is going to be the salesman, the snake oil salesman. And the customer is going to have to draw one of these cards, which is a profession card. So it, it'll dictate what profession they are. And that will later um, force the salesman to tailor their sales pitch towards this profession. Then the, uh, the salesman picks out two random cards. Uh, and you put the two words together in the cards, and that's the item that you have to sell. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm ready. Can I be the customer first? Yeah. So I just pick one of these? Yeah. Are these like upside down or are I they don't two know. they're two sides? I think yeah, we can just use them again. So why is this one why do these have I don't get it. Those are blank, I think they're spacer cards. Alright, I'll just pick one. I'm gonna All pick right, two I'm of these. Oh boy, I'm a cowboy. Boy, sell me on some shit. I'm a fucking cowboy. Wow, cowboy. You must have a lot of cowboy friends, don't you? Yeah, you could say that. Well, I think in the cowboy community, it's it's important what belt buckle you have. Yeah. And I think a lot of them look exactly the same. Just a little star, a little silver star on your belt buckle. Yeah. Yeah, all your friends have that. But what's going to set you apart? An, an, another silver star? Is that what you just want to blend in with all your cowboy friends? Or do you want to you want to step yourself outside the cowboy box and be a better cowboy than everyone else with a rainbow star? <laughs> you will walk around <laughs> your cowboy friends at your cowboy rodeos with a rainbow star That's so bright card. that they can't even look at your belt. His two cards say rainbow and star. Now tell me you don't need that rainbow star for your belt, son. <laughs> So it's on a belt. Yeah. It's a rainbow star. So what, like, you don't have to sell me a rainbow star? You you have to sell me, you can make it something else? Well, I just said rainbow star. Because that's the, sh the star is the shape of the belt buckle anyway, so it's a rainbow star. Mm-hmm. Why don't you read those rules? Um, okay. <laughs> Word cards. I mean, I'm pretty sold. I think you did a pretty good job. Mm-hmm. But yeah, tell I was me, right. Tell me, all right, well, you know, my outfit colors, they're usually pretty neutral. So you're selling me on a lot of color here. Here's what's going to happen. Yeah. You buy the rainbow star and suddenly every single outfit makes sense for every single day. So not only can you wear all of your clothes at once and they will all match your single ra but rainbow why star. Why would I want to do that? Or you wear nothing <laughs> and the rainbow star will have the shade of color that is your skin and will match your outfit. In the rainbow? In the rainbow. The oh. rainbow has all colors. I mean, yeah, okay, I'm kind of sold that you sold it to me in a belt. I was that was clever. that's the greatest thing about Rainbow Star. It can be sold in a belt. It can be sold in a wallet. It can be sold in a butt plug. Whatever your thing is, just it's Rainbow Star. If you do not, Julian. So, maybe just maybe not the butt plug. <laughs> maybe just the regular belt. All right, you did good. You it's did also good. sharp. You can throw it at people, okay. stab them right in the eye. They'll bleed. But now, the blood will not be rainbow. The blood will be red. Now we sell weapons. Okay. All right. There's no real scoring, I guess. We're just going to do you it. You can just keep score. Here, you can keep that. Okay. Which means that you sold it to I sold me. it to a cowboy. Give me, give me the cards. All right. I'm not going to be as good at this as you are. Well, you can deal with that. <clears throat> For fuck's sake. I am a hunter. Okay, Julian. Yes. As, as a hunter, have you ever just gotten lost in the woods? Like, oh my god, I have no idea where I am. And you know how to yes, hunt. Yes, I've <laughs> gotten lost a lot of times. I get lost all the time. In fact, I I don't know where I am right now. <laughs> that North Star really does me dirty sometimes. <laughs> um, you know, and I know you're a good hunter. You're a skilled hunter. You believe in your skills. But sometimes the hunt is only as good as what's out there to hunt. 
nothing to do with you, right? Yeah, sometimes I'm out there for hours and even days and I don't hear a peep. <laughs> sometimes I don't know where I am. Well, so in case sometimes you're out there lost in the woods, you can't find anything to eat, you can't find anything to hunt, let me introduce you the vomit bush. <laughs> <laughs> Just pack this small little compact vomit bush, plant it wherever you make camp that night, give it a little bit of water, and you wake up and it's full of vomit. Like, <laughs> yeah, maybe it's not your first choice in terms of food. But since it's dried vomit in the beginning and then you water it and it turns into full wet vomit, it's edible, even though it's kind of gross, nutritious, delicious, you can get lost in the woods for up to two weeks at a time with vomit bush. So um, is the bush vomiting and then I eat the vomit or no, is it the my vomit, vomit? the vomit grows on the bush. Oh, it's gross. It's pre-made vomit. So. It's like a chia pet. <laughs> do you have to start the vomit to like get it growing or will no. it vomit everything itself? No, you just water it and the vomit, it gets bigger. Does it have any nutritional value? Yeah. Honestly, I don't care. I'll take it. I'm It'll starving out here right now. <laughs> I'm starving right now. It'll keep you alive. Um... And the vomit bush, is it poisonous to eat out of the vomit bush? No. That doesn't sound a medical professional. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound like a professional. You just said no. Not. not poisonous. How how sure are you that I can eat everything that grows on the vomit a bush? A thousand percent. That's an excessive percentage. The vomit bush. <laughs> <laughs> what does it taste like? Vomit. Like human vomit? Yeah. What does it look like? Human vomit. <laughs> Are you sure you're not just vomiting in a bush and selling it to me? <laughs> I'm sure. It's a chia pet for vomit, for survival. Dude, sold. I am so hungry out there. All I right. never find food. There we go. I don't even know why I go hunting. I suck. <laughs> <laughs> should just go to the grocery store. <laughs> uh, okay, you ready? Like a six-hour drive outside my city to go hunt. <laughs> I don't know why I do it. All right. Oh, I'm a hostage. You're a hostage? Yeah, I'm a hostage. Let me tell you something, okay? You have limited time left on this planet. You don't know what's going to happen. You say I'm going to die? You have limit. You have potentially limited time. You don't know if you're going to get killed by your captor. You don't know if you're going to get transported off to another place while being blindfolded. You don't know. You which know, means, I was keeping a positive which means, outlet. Which means you don't know when your next meal will be, okay? And if I could, I would offer you Nature Box, but I don't have Nature Box to sell you. All I have God. is something that you might have on you right now, which is a belt. Do you have a belt on you? You do. Look, I see it right there. Imagine if you had bought the belt candy. This is you could my be, dog. You could eat while you were captured. Wait, are you, you while you were captured at the bottom of a basement for months and months and months, tortured and by a demented person, you could have eaten your belt candy. They would have taken my belt. No, it looks like a belt. They don't have a need for a belt. But to you, it's candy. <laughs> And you can survive off of it. No, you wouldn't. I, they think you're slowly withering away and starving no. down there. You take a little bite out of the belt candy. Every day you're getting stronger and stronger until the last day when you bite the buckle off the belt candy. Well, he stripped and then me you naked. Get, mm, you see the pile of clothes in the corner. He took my belt candy. Well, then eat the whole thing before he can strip you naked. Just Wait, shove the so whole belt it, into your mouth. Is it a fruit by the foot belt? Is that what you're saying? Stronger. Stronger, than, stronger that? than that. Fruit what's, what's it made out of? Um, leather. And how can I eat it? Because the leather is from a candy cow. What the fuck are you talking it's about? It's a cow made of candy. It's the skin of a cow made of candy. You eat it. What candy? It's a combination between gushers and mounds. I don't want it. Ew. It just rolled up. Not sold. Chocolate, fruity, gushy. Not sold. And it melts in your hands. Not it sold. Runs down onto your wrists. Not sold. You don't even know how you got here anymore. <laughs> belt Candy. <laughs> LLC. I'm selling you my company. It's called Belt Candy LLC. Oh. It's a production company. It has nothing to do with belt candies. No. Would you like to buy my production company? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want your production company called Belt Candy. Why not? Because. One time we <laughs> we saw, we drove through Hollywood and saw a big movie shoot. We saw it. That's how good we are at Belt Candy. We saw it with our eyes. Yeah, right. It doesn't help me. I'm a hostage. Well, you never know how how many hours you're going to be in there. You're going to need some entertainment. Belt Candy will produce high quality entertainment. 
to go on your iPad. I need you to buy this, okay? We're not selling anything to anyone. I need this. No. No, no, no. You need to understand what Belt Candy brings to the table. Nothing. We are a ride-sharing service. <laughs> we can rescue you, okay? You get on the Belt Candy app on your phone, which is it's in beta right now. It hasn't even been started or created. But when, it's, when it exists, you go on the app, Belt Candy. A Belt Candy driver will be there in two seconds. What happened to you being a belt candy company with candy belts? No, that was just the... the so you're a production company or a ride sharing service? a ride sharing service. service. You need a ride, don't you? You're, you're, you're a hostage. No, I need a policeman. Just get on the belt candy app. Belt candies are actually undercover cops. We're selling you our protection services, belt candy protection services. We are cops. <laughs> 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 We're cops. Belt candy. Belt candy cops. We're cops. <laughs> <laughs> Buy our services and we'll cop for you. No. Why don't you want us? Wait, so we will ser- we'll serve and protect and be a belt candy. Are you still making movies out of your production company? No, that was all just a front. We're undercover cops. All these are fake stories. Oh. This is to help you get out of hostage. We invented this company, Belt Candy, specifically to get you out of the situation that you were in. <laughs> No one was going to let us anywhere if we told them that we were uh, a cop. We had to disguise as a production company and then as a ride-sharing service to get every step closer to you. And now we're here. We only have 30 seconds left. They're coming. We need you to get in the car. You only exist for me. We exist only for you. We were spawned (laughs) like a character in a video game for you to save you from the hostage situation. This is potentially dangerous. You need to come with us right now. I'll get in the car. Okay. Not fun. We saved her. We did it. Belt Candy is now dissolved. <laughs> the company dissolved us. You picked me up. We are cops. <laughs> Belt Candy. We are cops. <laughs> that was terrible. I, honestly, what happened is we just needed to rescue you, and I had to come up with a hundred different reasons to get past all the security. And we did it. Happy to have you home, son. <laughs> Not a boy. <laughs> I'm going to take the hostage because I sold. I got that one. Oh, all right, <clears throat> Julie. Go ahead. <clears throat> I can't believe you got a point for that. That's like actual garbage. I am a paparazzo. Okay. <clears throat> Sell to me. All right, Julian. So as a as a paparazzo, papa paparazzi, papa papa, I'm your biggest fan. I'll follow you until <laughs> you love me, papa paparazzo. Stop singing me, Lady Gaga. <laughs> so as a paparazzo, what's the difference between paparazzi and paparazzo? Is that plural and singular? No, it's our male and female species. No way. Paparazzi is female. Paparazzo is female. No way. Wait, those are both female. What the hell? No, it's paparazzi is is plural. Paparazzo is singular. Okay. Well, paparazzi so knows no gender. After you take your pictures, right? You you run around town. You find these celebrities. You take their pictures of them doing interesting things. Yeah. Then it's time to get on the horn and call up all the magazines and be like, oh, I got these pictures of this person. Or sometimes the other way around. The horn. Where, where the celebrity will <clears throat> call and set up an appearance, which people still don't understand where they're like... <laughs> Wow, look at all these beautiful pictures of so-and-so frolicking on the beach. Oh, I can't believe just paparazzi with that. It's because they fucking call them to show up and take pictures Expose of them. Expose them. No. I just... always find it so funny on the same people who complain about getting paparazzo bothering them. They post those pictures on their Instagrams. <laughs> you ever see that? No. I've seen the same, the same people who complain also repost. Oh, wow. Okay. Um... No, people call paparazzi to, to show up and talk to them and perpetuate the pay attention to me, whatever. But Guys, so- we're actually not playing a game right now. This this whole thing was just to explain to you that that is a thing, okay? <laughs> we want you to know the truth. <laughs> paparazzo sometimes is arranged. Okay, go ahead. By the person themselves, though. 
Uh, okay, so after uh, you take your pictures of your celebrity, your person, your whatever you're doing, and then you got to get on the horn. You got to call all the news outlets and be like, I got this many pictures of this person doing this stuff. And, you know, depending on the pictures that you got of them, they might be really, really valuable. But then you're in a bidding war. Then it's like, oh, my God. And then you got to get back and forth on the phone calls about who's going to have them. It's got to get done quickly because you just took them and they're breaking photos. They got to get out now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But... What if there was a place for you to just simply upload your pictures completely secure and private to all of the news outlets who could immediately bid like eBay on who wants them for what and they could pay you immediately? I like that. That sounds easy and not stressful. Well, welcome to Photo Heaven, (laughs) the new website just for paparazzos like you (laughs) to upload your paparazzi pictures just to photo heaven then everyone gets the bidding more for them you don't have to do anything how secure is it more of doing the things that you love which is standing around and being in the way (laughs) 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 clicking your camera and yelling at people over here unless of the part of your job you don't like which is selling them for a hard price actually doing work Photo heaven. <laughs> so I have a question. How secure is photo heaven? Sounds really Extremely unsecure. Extremely secure. I'm talking experience secure. <laughs> um, why is it called photo heaven? Does that mean my photos are dead? No, that has nothing to do with anything. It's just where you go to upload your pictures. Do you have an app for iPhone and Android? Of course we do. Is it good? Yes, it is seamless, beautiful. Do you have to pay monthly? You Well, listen, we design Photo Heaven with paparazzo like you in mind, okay? Because so we're such listen, angels? Listen, we know that you're on the beach in Tahiti following around Gigi Hadid, okay? It's not like this is no desktop computer around there to be found. Exactly. So you got to wirelessly upload your pictures from your camera to your phone using Wi-Fi. And then you got to use the mobile app. So we designed it to be very user friendly for people like you on the beaches of Tahiti, <clears throat> sweating, following around Gigi Hadid, who is at least 45 years younger than you. Do you have <laughs> do, you, do you have to pay monthly? As a, as a membership for the servers? Yes. It's about uh, $2 a month for you to use. And for the, the websites, it's about $15 a month. Wait, for just for me? Yeah, for you. Is is the, am I getting a special price? Yeah, because you're a paparazzo. Okay. Um, I'll take it. I'm good. Sold. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> over here, over here. <laughs> more of the things that you love like being in the way <laughs> that was good that was the best part of your sales pitch I thank think. you you're welcome all right my turn grab it grab a what's the difference between the blue side and the green side is there anything uh i didn't read enough instructions to know that come on really? <laughs> no i think there's just uh different cards i don't like that one All right. Would you like to know my profession? What is your profession? I'm a priest. (laughs) You know the definition of hard work. I do. Encouraging and motivating a lot of people. Mm Mm-hmm. Every Sunday. That's me. At church. Yes, sir. A lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah, lots. But. Yeah. What happens when it rains? (laughs) You can't go to church when it rains because it's impossible to get there. No one's driving right. It's a Sunday. You got Sunday drivers. You got wet roads. Even in the Lord's name, you cannot make it to church sometimes because the rain is too crazy. Yeah. Okay. And when you're out in the rain, you are thirsty. You need to drink water even though it's falling everywhere, which sounds counterintuitive. But when you, the priest, are trying to get to church and it's pouring rain. And you grab your umbrella and you're parched. Yeah. Because water's around you, which means by osmosis, it's leaving your body. And you need to you need to refill. You need to refill. I don't think that's what osmosis is. Buy says. umbrella water, <laughs> which is a water bottle that goes through your umbrella, filters the water, and then goes up <laughs> through a straw into your gullet. How While your that... only works on Sundays if you're going to church. How is that gonna help me get to church though? Sometimes you're rushed, okay? Yeah, there's a lot. You park somewhere and you say, fuck, I thought this was a lot closer to the church, but it's far. I got to run. And it's pouring rain. Yeah. You need umbrella water. Uh-huh. Because when you run from your car to the holy house. <laughs> <laughs> you, just... 
you need to hydrate really bad. I can't leave. I can't leave. You killed him. You need you need to hydrate in the rain. You forget about the water because it's all around you. But what about what goes down your mouth? You need hydration to be the highest paid and performing priest ever. You call it a whole yeah. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say holy hut. <laughs> Julian. You need umbrella water. <laughs> Normal water does not work with umbrellas. It just beads off and gets wasted and then goes down the gutter and goes to Pennywise and no one's even around. <laughs> you need umbrella water where it filters through the umbrella. It doesn't just protect you from the rain. It gives you the rain to nourish yourself and your Holy Spirit on the Sunday. Why, why didn't Only you... Only rains on Sundays. Why didn't you sell it to me that, like, we could, instead of buying our holy water... We could go outside, collect it from rainwater with umbrella because water. Because umbrella water is then, not certified holy water, and you we, cannot baptize people with umbrella then water. Then we bless it, and then it is holy water. It's a, It stays in the umbrella. There's no spigot. You put your mouth on the umbrella, and it goes. you drink it. There's no getting it out of the umbrella. <laughs> then why don't I just open my mouth into the air? Because it filters through the umbrella water. It's a patented um, technology that we didn't create. We stole it from my friend. <laughs> <laughs> the water... Feeds through the umbrella off, and it's, instead of going out onto the ground, it comes back in and then Stop. rushes through and gets filtered like a Brita. We own Brita. Stop. I don't need it. We I'm own Brita. Priest. We own Brita. This is Brita. <laughs> <laughs> We're selling you Brita. <laughs> don't you need Britas in your church? <laughs> I know you have a lot of thirsty people. Okay, can we can we sell you some fucking Britas, please? <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna pee my pants. This is the second time now when you start a sales pitch. And then you... It's Britta. It's Britta. <laughs> Britta LLC. We have a little bit of a, a, a you know, management, shifting management. It's Britta. Okay. You buy Britta, umbrella water. So you're selling me a priest, a Britta. Yeah, no, not a Britta, like five at least. Depending on how many fridges your church has. We have one. Or right, like two. I don't two need Brittas. two no, Brittas. No, no, no. These are the new one. But what does the umbrella have to do with anything? Umbrella water. What is that? Umbrella water is the company that is under the same umbrella as Brita. That's why it's called umbrella water. <laughs> I'm not letting you get away with a second one of these. I want you to drink out of my Brita. <laughs> Candy belt. We are. <laughs> no. No. You are. This is I, I, I hear in your I hear in your voice how thirsty you are. And we have the water. This is we so have the unfair. hydration. Okay. This Every is... Sunday, you're up there screaming. Okay, we make <laughs> we I make a, a podium a podium that has a water fountain attached to it. That's Britta's new invention. We haven't really talked about it. We can't release it yet. <laughs> but while you're up there doing your, your sermon, is that what's called sermon? Yeah. While you're doing the sermon, and and you're inspiring all these people on a beautiful rainy Sunday, you need to like lean over your podium and just <laughs> and drink. <laughs> Hands free, okay? We have a motion sensor water fountain installed on podiums. <laughs> the best of politicians use it, and now we're bringing it to church. And you are the first priest we want so to you use just it. just lean forward and watch spouse up to you. <laughs> Drink it like a fucking deer. Stop. Nothing is more inspiring. Trust me, I've seen it. It's magical. No, you, no. You're not going to get away there with it. There is nothing worse in church than having to pause so the priest has to take a sip of water out of the water bottle like 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 some sort of sort of non-special human. He is a special human. He needs to drink hands free. Like that while he's <laughs> while he's talking. He needs to stop what he's doing and he needs to drink with umbrella water. We are creating a giant umbrella that goes on top of churches and provides water to the whole church. <laughs> The product is still in production. I can't, I can't be here anymore. I have to go. <laughs> the, the product is still in production. I can't be here anymore. This isn't there. This isn't even the game. <laughs> it's 40 feet tall. It's eco friendly. Solar powered.
I'm crying. I feel like I'm going to be my pants. This isn't fair. I'm just trying to say you, you're by the water. Just, just shake my hand, okay? We'll be done here. Good, good job on the on the last Sunday. No. I saw, I watched, I scouted you. <laughs> this isn't fair. Do you want the people of your church to have water from the umbrella and the ceilings come down to the seats and have individual water fountains at every seat in church? Do you want that? Do you want them to be hydrated or not? It's so unnecessary. It's me. necessary, and you need it. They can bring their own water. We're not and waste profit. all of these plastic bottles on this beautiful, gorgeous earth that we have. <laughs> they can bring their own bottles. I can't be. They wouldn't here. have to if you had umbrella water. <laughs> You got yourself a deer, sir. Well done, sir. Great doing business with you. I'll visit you next Sunday. I'll do, I'll be installing the umbrella. It's not fair. <laughs> do you need to take a second? You're like, you're not allowed to just say something and then change it 20 times. The thing about snake oil, okay, is you have to be crafty with your sales pitch. You have to be able to shift and jump around and, and move laterally while you're selling because... One direction might not be working. You need to jump over and take the other angle. That's what it's about. That's why I created this game called Snake Oil, guys. And you can buy it right now um, at discontinuedbymanufacturer.com. Is it really? It actually is discontinued by the manufacturer. Wow. Wait, so how did you get it? I pulled some strings here and there, you know. Did you order it online? I got it on Postmates. It was at a Toys R Us or something. <laughs> what the hell? What? All right. They delivered it right to my house. It was amazing. It's like Nature Box when they deliver it right to your house. You don't have to do anything. Every month, guys, Juliana. fresh snacks with simple ingredients, no artificial flavors, oh colors, or sweeteners delivered right to your house every Did not. month. Or you can just buy them one-off. doesn't matter. Okay, You can have a subscription service, or you can just buy them you know, whatever you want. They have over 100 snacks that taste so good and actually better for you guys. I know we all want to eat better, but when it comes to snacks, they taste good. Generally, but they aren't good for you. That's where Nature Box comes in, okay? You can feel good about what you're eating. Right now, Jen and I are snacking on the strawberry uh, lemonade fruit stars Why that we, we still always? have. We still have them. They're still in our cabinet. And we also, the salt and pepper lentil loops are really good. Those are a nice little savory snack. Um, guys, you'll, you will definitely be finding your new uh, snack obsession at Nature Box. And like I said, they're constantly changing up their snack options with the input uh, inspired by the latest trends of, of uh, professional chefs, guys. This is, no, this is no joke. Like Nature Box has been around. They're thriving. They have great snacks all over the place. Okay, head to naturebox.com. Choose the snacks you want and they'll deliver them right to your door with no risk. If you ever try a snack you don't like, guys, you don't have to eat it. Okay, Nature Box is like, all right, maybe that one's not for you. Okay. Maybe it's not for you. They'll replace it for free with a snack you do like. Right now, Nature Box is giving you 50% off your first order. That's half off, guys. You can't say no to that. Okay, half off snacks. We all love snacks. Naturebox.com slash Jenna Julian. Thank you, Nature Box. And when you're looking to get some holiday shopping done, probably for your dad or maybe your brother or maybe dad? your wife or maybe your sister. Dad? Or maybe your daughter or maybe your stepdaughter or maybe your step granddaughter. Okay. Whoever it is in your life that wants something. You want to get them a movement watch because movement watches look so nice. They're pretty great. And they are affordable. They look like they cost five, six hundred dollars. No. Starting at ninety-five dollars. They and have really light. quality watches. Light quality build. We have some. I'm actually ordering another one. I'm ordering another movement watch with my code. Okay. And with you can also get 15% off plus free shipping if you use our code too. Oh, shit. Uh seriously, guys, it's MVMT. Okay, the story about how movement watches started so cool. Two broke college kids that wanted to wear stylish watches but couldn't afford them. They make, they were like, hey, why don't we just make this a thing? Why don't we make stylish, good quality looking watches, okay, but affordable, all right? They only sell their products online. They were able to cut out the middleman and mark the retail um, and uh, and mark the re and, and the retail markup, sorry, and then you get the best price for you guys as possible when you're getting a new watch. Um, so they start at just $95. L literally check it out right now, mvmt.com slash JJ, and go look at their selection because they have a whole bunch of different style watches, 
different bands, different uh, watch faces. It's like really, really cool. Uh, the revolutionary pricing along with movements, classic design, quality construction, and styled minimalism has led to over 1 million watches being sold in 160 countries. It's time for you to step your watch game up or those in your life's watch game up without them knowing. Surprise them with this, okay? Yeah. It'll be a good gift. They will like it. Uh, go to mvmt.com slash JJ. Get 15% off today. That's for you, Dink Fam, and you get free shipping and also free returns. Yeah. Thank you, sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. Are you ready? I just burped. Yep. Yeah. Good boy. <clears throat> Thanks. You have to pick an occupation. <laughs> All right, I'm a protester. That was just on the top. Oh. Close your eyes and pick one. Good try. I am a beggar. It's my profession. Okay. Julian. What? Listen here. Okay. For a lot of reasons, you found yourself as a beggar, right? Yes. You stand on the corner of the 405 with a sign that says food. It's a parking sign that you ripped off the street. No, it says send nudes, but I'll take food. <laughs> Whatever. There's a lot of complicated reasons why you've wound up having to panhandle. And sometimes people give you like a dollar here and a dollar there. Sometimes it's enough for you to eat. Sometimes it isn't. Mostly it's not. Yes. A lot of, a lot of times you go to bed hungry and you're just looking for shelter and you just want some help. I want help. Well, wouldn't it be nice if you could just walk over to the prize river <laughs> full of prizes? It doesn't matter. Like, yeah, maybe we don't got any food or water in here, but it's full of prizes. Everybody likes prizes. What do you think? <laughs> so how does it work? You Tell just, me how it works. I just you, reach in. You dip your hand in it, and you pull out a prize. Can you give me an example of a prize? Yeah, so think of, like, the dentist or the orthodontist or something where you pull out, like, a sticky hand. How is that going to feed me and my family? <laughs> it's not, but it's going to make you happy. Is there anything of actual value in the prize river? Absolutely not, <laughs> <laughs> the, whole, the whole river is worth about 45 cents total. The whole river? How yeah. many acres does it span? The entire Los Angeles area. Wait, so you, you're saying the LA River has been infested with prizes yes. that are worth a complete total of 45 cents? Oh, yeah, big time. We got erasers. We got uh, squishy things, bouncy balls, whatever you want. It's mostly I Charlie dumped it on us. They didn't want it anymore. And we were like, we'll take it and fill up the river. It's a prize river. I'm enticed, but I have a question. When what? I reach in, mm -hmm. are they are they just going to be wet and sopping? And no, like, there's no water. It's dry. It's a prize river. There's just prizes, no water. Just prizes. Can you dive into it or will you hurt yourself? You can, but it's frowned upon because we don't want you to break the prizes for other people. You but know? It, if, if le, you're talking about miles and miles and miles of prizes. Yep. Collective 45 cents? How <laughs> shitty are the prizes? Okay, maybe a little more than that. I was lying, okay? But like, it's full of prizes. Prize river. So what are you selling to me? I can just I can just go do it right now without buying anything from you. We gotta get exactly. We gotta get people over there. We gotta get the word out. So that's all I'm doing. This is telling you about the prize river. So it's just like a PSA. Yep. No. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> but there's nothing of use. I need to be fighting for my life to eat and drink. Yeah, but who doesn't like a sticky hand? Sticky hands are pretty fun. Do you want a kazoo? I I want a kazoo. Prize River. Do you put Vuvuzelas in the Prize River? Yep. I'm there. I'm All right, doing it right now. All right, here you go. Give me the card. All right. Yes. <laughs> Vuvuzela. That's what got me. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yep. Mm. <sighs> what? Why are you already laughing? I'm just laughing. What, what is your profession, miss? I am actually an alien. Oh. The best kind of thing. I would like to personally just introduce myself. Hi, alien. Hi. I like you because you're not a human. I'm a fan of people who are not humans. Hello. I don't know hello. where I don't know where you come from. Hello. The planet Hello, maybe. Hello. Okay, maybe sh shut up though. <laughs> Try to sell here. Um, sometimes mm -hmm. when you go to your alien meetings, mm -hmm. okay, and you need to have good alien ideas to impress your alien friends and coworkers. Mm -hmm. You don't know what to do. Okay, mm -hmm. you can write down all the ideas you want, but at the end of the day, you walk into that meeting and you got to just give them some gold, or else you're you're out of here. Mm -hmm. You're going to be kicked off the alien ship, 
thrown all the way into space, maybe never found again, maybe found by a more dominant alien species who's going to eat you. No. They will eat you. No. Okay? No. You need to have... <laughs> you need to have yourself prepared going into these meetings. Okay? Mm -hmm. Which means inside of your pockets, you cannot have anything in there. You need to clean out your pockets so that you can fill it with pocket fear. <laughs> you need pocket fear inside of your pockets. What the hell? Do you know what pocket fear does? No! Pocket fear... It's not a physical thing. Okay. Okay? You buy it, and it's air. <laughs> and you take the air, and you put it in your pocket, and that's pocket fear. Uh -huh. What it does is it instills fear into the eyes of your... In, into the eyes of everyone. Uh-huh. You pull out some pocket fear and throw it at their fucking face, and they are terrified of you. And then you automatically have the floor. Everything you say goes, because they are terrified. You have the pocket fear. That sounds like persuasion... Pocket persuasion. Let me, Is it let, me fear let me just show you. Persuasion? Let me just give you a little example. Okay. How do you feel <laughs> now? Scared. I see it in your eyes. You're, <laughs> you're terrified of my pocket fear. I pulled it out and bam, the moment changed. You are now scared of me and are listening to everything I say. I'm more scared of the fact that you just pretended to pull something out of your pocket and throw it in my face. There was no pretending. I did it everything and you reacted to the pocket fear. The chemicals are reactive. I'm, I don't feel scared. I feel like I want to get away from you. No, it's pocket fear. <laughs> you need pocket fear on your side. Because if it's not on your side, it's on my side. Uh -huh. And I'm going to get you with it. Well, I have a question. What happens if you have pocket fear and I have pocket fear? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> you don't want to know. What happens? I've only seen that happen once. But, well, it doesn't sound like anyone's going to have an advantage. Everyone died. Everyone in the room is dead now. So why would I have pocket fear? It's dangerous. You need one person needs to have pocket fear. And so far, you are the only human. Wait, you're an alien. You're the only alien I've ever sold to. So you'll probably be the only alien with pocket fear. How long does it last? 20 minutes. Okay, no. I know you have a meeting soon. You can go use I, it. No, I don't want any pocket fear. Pocket fear. <laughs> Buy it. I don't want it. Buy my pocket no, fear. No, you didn't sell me. I don't need it. I don't want it. You need it. to buy my pocket fear. I don't want it. Pocket fear. Okay. <laughs> it's this new company that we sell no. to people who are going to the zoo. No. And what You're it does is it, it elicits it. a scent that makes all the animals scared so they don't don't dig into your pockets and take your belongings. Have you no. ever been to the monkey zoo of Ubud? No. I know you have. No. You have. I have, but no. They go into your pockets they because your to. pockets did not have pocket fear inside of them. They will take everything out of there. They will rob you for everything you have. No. I don't want any pocket fear. Sorry. It says rocket fear. Okay? No, it doesn't. No, it says rocket fear. No, it doesn't. It says pocket fear. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm giving up. Good I'm, con I'm conceding my argument here. You can't sell shit. <laughs> pocket fear? Oh, God damn it. It was a good try. It was a good try. God damn it. I'm a politician. Come on, baby. <laughs> All right, Julian, you're a politician, right? Yes. Uh, do you have... What kind of politician are you? The kind that goddamn fucking wins. Yeah, but like, what kind of office do you hold? The highest. So you're the president? I am the president. You're the president. No, I'm a mayor. You're a mayor? I'm a mayor. Okay. So as a mayor, you probably have some security, but you don't have like secret service, right? Yeah, they pretty much skimp out on everything. Yeah, like you, you have you have some people looking after you, but like if somebody wanted to attack you, they could in theory, right? I get attacked all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically what I'm going to be selling to you is your own personal security device. I like it. For the most dire of situations. What is it? It's a yawn knife. <laughs> <laughs> so the way that it engages is we surgically implant it into your throat. Oh. So when you yell the code word, banana, 
It comes shooting, and you yawn. It comes shooting out of your throat, and it stabs someone to death instantly out on the spot. So once once I use it once, can I will it, will it be able to be used again, or do I have to have the mm-hmm. surgery again? Well, we you probably need a doctor to get it back in your throat, but we, you don't need to have the surgery again. So it's just a one off thing. What does that mean? So if I'm in danger, mm-hmm. I have to yawn. <laughs> what if I can't yawn? You have to yell and yawn and say banana. That's a lot of things at once. Well, you know, do you want to die? A banana. There you go. And then it comes shooting out of your throat. Just comes out like that? Yeah. And then does it kill someone? Yeah. Am Stabs I responsible them. for murder? Yes. What about your company? Where do you guys get off? What's your liability? We have nothing to do with anything. We just give people <laughs> You just knives. told me you're trying to sell it to me. No, we give people knives This whole throats. meeting is being recorded. I have security in my mayor's office. Look, all we are is we're yawn knife, okay? So we're telling you that the technology What if exists. it goes off accidentally? That's not a problem. And I'm going, no, I'm taking my pet snake for a walk and I'm like, and then bam, stabs my pet snake. Who's responsible for that? Mm, probably your snake. Why? What did he do? He was being scary. He's scary. He deserves to die. Yeah, he's scary. That's it. How much is it? A thousand dollars. Nine ninety nine ninety nine. I like the way you look. I want to buy it from oh, you. Oh, you want a yawn knife? I want a yawn knife. Uh, I'm just buying it from you because you're cute there. You Aww. promise you'll come have dinner at the mayor's office, won't you? Yeah. Hello. 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 <laughs> Can I do one more and then we'll finish? Yeah. All right. I'm going to sell you. <sighs> I'm going to sell you good. Why you yawn? Because you're yawning. Ugh. Yawn knife. All right, last one. Guys, we're tired. What can I say? Pick a pr- profession. I'm a diva. I'm not. Uh, I'm a diva. I'm not. I'm not. I'm a diva. You are a diva. Let me tell you this. You are a diva. Okay. You have so many fans out there. You are the most popular person that's ever walked anywhere ever. Okay. Okay. At least in your own mind. Yeah. But in reality, you actually do have fans. Mm-hmm. You are popular. Mm-hmm. You can't go to the mall without getting mobbed. Okay. And sometimes that's a lot. Okay. And sometimes when you get there, you realize a little too late that you're stuck. Uh-huh. You're stuck. <laughs> oh, God. They surround you. They're uh-huh. sticky. They're real sticky because they're sweaty and they've been waiting around for you. What the hell? They start sticking to each other. And then you see a little semicircle forming and then it's a full circle. And then you're, you're trapped. You cannot get through these fans. You need to get where you need to go. But there are fans full 360, Full mosh pitting. They're mosh pitting now. They're mosh pitting. They're everywhere. You can't get anywhere. They're violent. The physical space around you has been consumed by your fans because you are such a diva. Oh. Until now. You now have fan butter. You put butter (laughs) all over your fans. You take fan butter everywhere you go. All of a sudden, you just slip and slide right between them. You're the slipperiest running back in the NFL. No one can touch you. Wait, so I put the fan butter on me? Yeah, it comes in spray form. Okay, it Mm -hmm. looks like pepper spray, so it terrifies the shit out of everyone. But you just spray them, and then it's fan butter. Okay, so everyone's slippery now. No one can grab a hold of you. They say, hey, Diva, I want a picture. And they go, whoop. And then they fall and probably hurt themselves really, really horribly. But we can't. We can't. we We have nothing to do with that injury. I actually feel like that's that's a pretty good idea for crowd control and fan gen- butter? just making everything super slippery. Yeah, it, it's it's imagine if you basically you cover the floor in banana peels. It's basically that scene in Zoolander where they're having a gas fight. That's what it is. <laughs> except they don't all die at the explosion. Spoiler alert: they all died in that scene. Except for Orange mocha frappuccino. You can have yourself fan butter. It actually looks just like a gas gasoline hose. Like it, you just pull it out of your purse. You spray it. Fan butter. No one can touch you. That's not a bad sales pitch. I like I like, I like that. I think that that's it's pretty great. All right. Are we are we can we sign? Yeah, I think so. Really? Yeah, because you didn't change the company twelve times. Well, well there's fan butter, but we also have a, no, no, a sister no, a sister no, company. No. Fan margarine. Okay? No. For when they show up at your house. And they need breakfast. No. You have fan margarine. No. You can spray them with margarine. It's a fan that sprays butter. It's not for your fans. It's literally fan butter. You turn on the fan and it just sprays butter everywhere. And then you have the <laughs> scent of butter. Everything's covered in butter. This is only if you love butter. Mm. This is basically just for redrumming. We got a, we got a deal? Da-na-na-na-na. 
<laughs> yes. Now we do. Hi, I'm Reed Drummond. <laughs> Here's what's going on on the ranch. Can we get her on for a fucking podcast? Tad, yet? Todd, Tate, Can we Tate, get her on for a hungry. podcast? I wish. How do we reach? How do we get Reed Drummond on the podcast, dude? We should fly to her. Bring all of the podcast, podcast on the ranch. Podcast on, on the ranch. ranch. Podcast, podcast on, on the, the ranch. ranch. She went to like USC. Like she went to college. She married. She's Lad college or whatever. Educated. Yeah. Like she's pretty rad. She's had a pretty cool life. I feel she like she beat Bobby Flay in a cooking competition. I looked at her Wikipedia page. Okay, I read stuff about Reed Drummond. Ha, I'm Reed Drummond. Here's what's going on on the ranch. I'm going to pour 14 bars of butter into this cereal bowl, and then I'm going to eat it. Oh, boy. Uh, this game was fun, though. <clears throat> this game is fun if you have a Julian in your life that loves to just embellish the fuck out of everything. Yeah. Like, you too much. Yeah. I literally almost got up and left when you were doing that umbrella church shit. Yeah. <laughs> See, speaking what? of Umbrella Church, no. right now, guys, no. if you need to tell no. someone something that no one else can find out, just get yourself a napkin secret. A napkin secret, you can write anything you want on it. That's you... a napkin. No, it's a napkin secret. No. The thing about a napkin secret is once you write it down, whoever touches it dies <laughs> immediately. It's, l it's laced in poison. No, we're done. We're done. Julian, spit we're cheese. You need spit cheese because sometimes when you when you're spitting on the ground, it's just it's just gonna dry up too fast. You need to le to leave some markings of cheese. That's disgusting. It's a can of cheese Ew. that doesn't just cheese whiz. It just spits it out. What? You say cheddar, Gruyere, and it just spits it out at you. Done. We're done. Book soap. Julian. Who's gonna wash your books? You need to wash your books. They're, They're not going to wash themselves. They don't need to get washed. They need to get washed. They no. need to get mopped specifically. No. But this is this is how you do it. No. It's with book soap. Oh, wait. Urge soap. Ew. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop. Urge soap. <laughs> urge, wash all urge, of your urges away. Urge soap. Gross. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this podcast. This is goofy. fun. I like this game. Snake oil. Maybe we'll do it again with a third. It might be fun with a third. Yeah, with more people. Because then it's like Cards Against Humanity, but with more arguing. Yeah, and we can also, I think they gave us blank cards to write some in. So yeah, that'd be that's fun. That's pretty cool. Well, thank you all for hanging out for another podcast. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, boy. Uh, we'll see you guys next week for another one. Check out, um, seriously, Movement Watches. Really awesome stuff. Check out the links down below in Nature Box. And uh, we'll be probably live on Twitch all week. So we'll see you guys there or something. All right. Well, not Tuesday night. We're going to the streamies. Pray for me, y'all. I have nothing to fucking wear. Right? Do you? Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not wearing anything. Yeah, I'm not wearing it. I, we, like, I legit don't have something to wear. We just didn't do it this weekend. We didn't go get something to wear. We were so. supposed to shop this weekend. And we yeah. not like fancy and have people dress us. We were supposed to get ourselves clothes, and we didn't do it. Yeah. It's okay. Anyway, yeah, let's talk about it. Cause I, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, I'm oh. Lee Drummond.